So you want to participate in your first fish club auction, but you've never been to one before and have no idea what you're doing. Stay tuned to find out how to bid like a boss and win big at your next auction. Hi, this is A Gamer's Wife, here with practical fish care tips so that busy aquarists like you can spend more time enjoying your aquariums. And while I may look confident on camera, I'm actually a huge introvert, and I was definitely nervous about participating in my first fish club auction. I mean, I'm not a huge spender who's constantly collecting new fish and supplies, especially when I only have room for three tanks in my house. But auctions can offer amazing deals or rare species you'll never find online. And another huge advantage is that sellers bring fish and plants that have been living in my local water parameters and therefore have a better chance of thriving in my aquariums. My problem is that auctions are really fast paced and I don't want to accidentally do something wrong or make a scene and slow down the process for everyone. Plus, nobody seems to notice me when I raise my hand to bid. Now, our huge biannual fall auction is coming up and I want to be able to win some stuff and not get lost among the larger than normal crowds. One of our fish club auctioneers gave us this piece of advice. The myth of the auction is that successful bidding or a special strategy will get you the deal of the century. It seems obvious, but if you really want an item, you have to bid higher than everybody else's bids. That's the only strategy that gets you that item. Okay, got it. So I started watching others more carefully during the mini auctions we hold at the end of each fish club meeting, and I eventually gained enough confidence to start selling and buying myself. Here's the process I follow. Most fish clubs will let you examine the items before the auction, or even online if they use an auction website. Once you've decided which items you're interested in, pull out your smartphone and find out how much the items cost online, including shipping. This will help you determine what your upper limit is. For example, I saw some Alternanthera ranicii that cost $10 online, plus $5 to $8 for shipping. So I decided to set my upper limit at $15 because I really wanted it. Try to score a seat near the middle front of the room so that the auctioneer can easily see you. Or at the very least, try not to sit behind someone tall. <laughs> when your item gets called, shoot up your hand or card as fast as possible, like a game show. You want to be the first person the auctioneer spots and calls on. Give me a six number eleven. Dark green sus foster tang. Dark green sus foster tang. You can see the clock there, so we start putting at six dollars for that one. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, now seventeen, anywhere? Seventeen? Now seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen. 18 has been down 19, sold for 18, but number 126. Then, once the bidding starts, don't keep dipping your hand down between bids. Keep your hand raised confidently until it surpasses your predetermined budget. Generally, the bidding will slow down around the market value, so don't give up. Also, usually the auctioneer will focus on the first two bidders he or she sees until one person gives up. Then he'll look for a third bidder to jump in. So, if the auctioneer didn't select you at first and the bidding is starting to slow down, wave your hand high and vigorously. You can even stand up if there's a lot of people in front of you because if the auctioneer doesn't see you, the bidding will end without your input. Bonus tip, sit with an experienced fish club member and ask them to help you bid the first few times. Okay, now that you've seen a couple of auction sales with subtitles, let's watch one last example without any help. See if you can keep up and find out who won the auction item and for how much. Five four more seconds. These guys have started bidding eighteen dollars. Eighteen down for eighteen. Now nineteen. Now nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one. You're on for thirty. Your bid is thirty. Now thirty-one. Anywhere thirty-one. Sold for thirty. Bid at number five zero. 
So you can see why I was a little intimidated by auctions at first, but after a while, you kind of get used to the certain rhythm of it. And since I took that footage, I've actually sold my first item, a Windelaw of Java Fern, and ended up bonding with the woman who bought it. And remember that Alternanthera Renekii? Yeah, got it for $9 instead of the upper limit of 15. And now it's growing beautifully in my bed I tank over here. Aww. To learn more about how local fish clubs work and why you should join, click the video on the right hand side to view my interview with the Aquarium Society president. Also, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel because I'm all about helping busy aquarists like you save time so you can enjoy your aquariums. Take care and I'll see you next time.